of the week for many reasons, but specifically because we get to introduce you to the adoptable pet of the week. And this morning, we're welcoming back 7th Heaven Rescue. Liz Persons and Don Hanley are here this morning as we are all hanging out with Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper. Hey, Coop. <laughs> Tell us about Cooper here. Um, Cooper was a stray in, um, locally, and when he was first taken in, they thought he was blind and deaf. Um, we thankfully got Dawn as a foster, and he was evaluated by a neurologist, yes. and it was determined that he has something called cerebral, I'll never say it right now, <laughs> um, cerebellar hypoplasia, there you go. Um, which we don't know why it happened. It could have happened before he was born. Something could have been going on with the mother. It might have been during birth that he didn't get enough oxygen. It could have been a head trauma or something afterwards. We're never going to know. But the nice thing is it's not a progressive disease. Um, it affects his balance and coordination. So you might see him high step a little bit. Um, you might see him bump into some things. But don't we all, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're all a little clumsy. Um, and then he also has a little bit of vision distortion, which he sees better when it's not bright lights, mm -hmm. um, but we were just talking and saying he was watching things in here. So he definitely sees. He's this right. just distorted. Yeah, he sees. a lot of bright lights. So um, I met Cooper before the show. It's just the sweetest puppy. So hopefully we can help get him adopted. But you, your rescue is unique because you take in animals who yeah. have medical issues. Yeah, and that's a real challenge because um, for all rescues right now, it's a challenge because donations are down. Seventh Heaven Rescue, we don't have sponsors, we don't have grants, we don't have any of that. Everything is based on what people are willing to donate to us. But yet, we will take in cases like Cooper. We just took another dog that needed surgery right away, uh, and the dog is doing fine now. We want to give them the best chance possible at a forever home, but of course that costs money. Um, our other issue is fosters. We're foster-based, and fosters are down. Uh, it's just a tough time for rescues right now. A lot of dogs being abandoned and surrendered, not a lot of fosters. So we are begging people that if you can open up your hearts and your homes to take in a dog, uh, rescue pays for everything. So it's just to hold them until they get their forever home. Yeah. Well, Dawn, you're one of those people that are a foster. Um, can you just tell us about what it's been like fostering Cooper for you? Uh, he's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been interesting to say the least, but he, for a puppy though, he is very mild mannered. Um, we're working on potty training. He loves playing with my dogs. Uh, the one dog he tends to be a little shy of. He's a 95-pound lab. Oh. He does better with smaller dogs. Okay. Um, we're working on stairs. Um, as you can see, he knows sit. Um, we've been working on calm and like yeah. So he's he's good. You want to show him the goggles? Oh yeah, I got. Oops. Just like muzzle training, um, you gotta train them to wear these, but these are to help him when it's like really bright out. Oh, that's very um, nice. And we've been working with him on that. Uh, we've been working with him on the stairs. He's got, he's afraid of going down the stairs, and I think that's because of his vision, his vision and his clumsy issue. Um, but going up, he's mastered finally. So Love it's that. Yeah. he's learning. He's yes. learning. What would be the ideal home for mm -hmm. Mr. Cooper? Uh, a home with kids, dogs, younger dogs that can play. Minimal stairs. Minimum minimum stairs. stairs. Yep, minimum stairs. Um, the smaller, he tends to play better with smaller dogs or dogs his size versus an extra large breed. Um, but yeah, he's not going to be a dog that's going to go on a five mile hike with right. you. Yeah. But boy, he will cuddle with you and love you. Oh, and I love a good cuddle. And, if, and if, if you're a night owl, he would be perfect. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be at Tip Hill tomorrow. Can yeah, you tell us tomorrow about that? Tomorrow we're just having a table event. Uh, they've invited us to come. So, yeah, um, recess coffee tomorrow. Recess coffee, 10 to 1, uh, Tippery Hill. And it's just a chance for people to stop by, say hello, meet some volunteers from the rescue, and hopefully meet some adoptable dogs as well. Yeah, and if you like Cooper, let us know. Start that adoption process. If you would like to join 7th Heaven Rescue at Recess Coffee on Ulster Street in Tip Hill tomorrow, you can learn more about Cooper. You can also learn more about the rescue. By going to that event, you can also just visit their website, 7thHeavenRescue.org.